Good morning, St. Londers. How are you? We hope that you're well. We hope that all is well with you. I'm only going to be able to do one video today because I'm uh, under a little bit of pressure from Oom Jan van der Merwe, Oom Jan Snor, uh, national head, uh, St. Londers national head of, uh, of uh, sectors and provinces, provinces and sectors. And those of you who know Wim Young know that he's a, he's a hard taskmaster and he's given me a whole lot of stuff to review. Um, <clears throat> so that's my day. Okie dokes. Right. So I want to share with you an article to which we have alluded in other videos and, um, and in the uh, Seitlanders Boodschappen Group Rechtstreekse Uitsendings the forum discussions that we hold occasionally on Thursday nights, every few weeks or a month and a half or so. So some of you will be familiar with this thing. It is found on the website Principia Scientific or Principia Scientific. I believe that it's pronounced Principia Scientific because it's uh, I think the name is partly taken from a work by, uh, what is the guy's name? Sir Isaac Newton. All right, so here, here, it, here goes. Science first, remote control hormones using nanoparticles is the title of this article. And it was published on the 23rd of June, written by one Brooks Hayes. Scientists have developed a way to remotely control the release of, a, of adrenal hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. I'll say that again. Scientists have developed a way to remotely control the release of adrenal hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. In other words, hormones generated by and released by the adrenal glands. Previous studies have linked problems with the regulation of hormones from the adrenal gland with mental health disorders, such as depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. The new research, detailed in the journal Science Advances, could help scientists investigate the links between hormones and mental health disorders, as well as develop new therapies for depression, anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. We're looking how we can study and eventually treat stress disorders by modulating peripheral organ function rather than doing something highly invasive in the central nervous system. In other words, what they're saying is rather than um, uh, what is this thing called Ugh, where they cut a portion out of your brain? I can't think of it. Rather than that, how can we control human behavior through hormones remotely, remote control of hormones? Study co-author Paulina Anikieva, professor of material science and engineering and of brain and cognitive sciences at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, told Massachusetts Institute of Technology News. To remotely control the release of hormones, scientists targeted ion channels that regulate the flow of calcium into adrenal cells. When calcium levels rise, cells in the adrenal glands begin to pump up hormone production. If we want to modulate the release of these hormones, we need to be able to essentially modulate the influx of calcium into adrenal cells said lead study author Dekel, Dekel Rosenfeld, an MIT postdoctorate, so he's studying for a uh, postdoc, what comes after doctorate, I don't know, in Anikieva's group. <clears throat> Scientists decided to use heat to manipulate the calcium ion channels. Oh, okay, he's a postdoctorate, meaning that he is a doctorate. He has a doctorate already. I don't know. The channels produce more calcium in response to thermal energy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's a whole lot of technical stuff. What is the point? The point is that scientists 
have now finally found a way to remotely control through nanoparticles nanoparticles that means tiny 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 particles how we feel and how we react the great point here um mr miller and i have been discussing this and other people as well but um, <clears throat> is that we are without being dramatic it feels as if we're living in the end times. What do I mean by that? There's an author called James Mason who wrote a book, Revisiting Revelation. You can listen to the audio book, the narrated audio book on BitChute. You can find it quite easily. Um, in which he, he makes the claim. You don't, you don't have to believe it or, or accept it, but he makes the claim he was jailed for 10 years for saying some politically incorrect things, very uh, uh, conservative guy, unacceptable in what is known as the Overton window. The Overton window is the name for the spectrum of things that you are allowed to think and say at any given time in any given society. So what is acceptable? And uh, he said some things outside the Overton window of uh, the modern United States of America and he spent some time in jail and when he was released from jail he kept his Gideon Bible, the Gideon Bible that he'd uh, gotten in jail and um, he, he says in the beginnings of this uh, book Revisiting Revelation it's my contention, it's my belief it's my assertion, I am asserting the following in this story, that we are on page 1,189 of a Bible that has 1,191 pages. In other words, his Gideon Bible has 1,191 pages. And he says we are that far towards the end. Now, you, you, you needn't agree. This is not a, a theology lesson. Uh, we're not trying to evangelize anybody, but we're trying to illustrate the concept that many of the things that are occurring in the world today, the manipulation of DNA, the use of nanoparticles to control the behavior of people, the scientific research that has been done, some of you will have seen the video live at the Pentagon in 2005, 2005? 2008, where the scientist explains how um, fundamentalists, and, and there's other work that proves that the same applies to conservatives, excuse the dogs, possess a certain, and these scientists are figuring out how to control all of this stuff. They're able to control the aggressiveness of your sexuality, in other words, in men, the um, um, the 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 uh, assertiveness of your heterosexuality. They are able to control your aggressiveness, your alpha male behavior, your dominance your uh, independence of thought and so on and so forth and these things taken all together and there, there are other articles there are other pieces of research there are other scientific developments there are other but related other but related fields that really give enormous cause for concern uh, uh, excuse me, that give enormous cause for concern to the modern conservative. We are living in an era whose uh, characteristics are unknown in the history of mankind. Our forefathers never began to contemplate the circumstances with which we must deal uh, on an ongoing basis and and which we must contemplate even worse 
for the future. It is very worrying, ladies and gentlemen. Far be it from me or from us to sow panic and to be fear mongers. But it does seem prudent for an organization like Saitlanders to talk about this from time to time. Because if we don't, who will? Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, we hope that it has been useful, that it has been edifying. That means kind of uh, like morally improving that it has been educational and that it may please god help us to have this knowledge in the dark days that appear to lie before us now again thank you and god bless you